There's an increasing demand for older workers at a number of companies. And let's define terms here, right? We're speaking about people 55 and over who are now the growing the fastest growing segment of the workforce. I can't speak, I promise. The number of companies who signed a pledge to give workers over 50 a fair shot rose by 122% last year compared with 2021. And the list of pledge takers now includes more than 2,500 businesses, including Bank of America, Microsoft, and H&R Block. So let's bring in Johnny Taylor. He is the president and CEO for of uh, the Society for Human Resource Management. Uh, so, so, Johnny, uh, some of this, I guess, has to do with demographics. Uh, people are living longer. People are having fewer children and retiring later. I mean, I'm a perfect example of that. This is a second career for me. That's right. I'm 53 years That's old. Right. Uh, people I just forget, by the way. It, that what that I your that, age uh, <laughs> so youthful so joyful but that's true this is that second round this is my second career I'm 53 I, I have a two month old at home um, I'm just getting started right so so that's part of this but give me some other examples as to why this is happening now talk about the qualities that people like me bring to the table that employers find desirable <laughs> Well, I got to tell you, in addition to those demographic trends that you described, the biggest issue that employers are confronting is the lack of talent that we have. The fact of the matter is this morning, the Jones report came out, you know, 9.9 .9 million open jobs, 230,000 people filing. Uh, and, and we have a real problem, 3.5 percent unemployment. So that's the biggest challenge is employers need employees and they don't have the luxury of discriminating against people based upon anything, especially age. But to talk to you about it, what we know is that older workers and, you know, the EEOC defines that as individuals who are 40, 40 and older. So 53, gosh, you're really up there. But at the end of the day, <laughs> but now I'm in that category. Yeah, now just my, man, my man just got into that category. <laughs> wow. That you're a senior. No, yeah. but, no, <laughs> is that. Older, we know that older workers demonstrate more positive what we call organizational citizenship. Hmm. And that is they tend to show up on time, they avoid more gossip, they help their teammates, and they keep their frustrations in check. Just maturity comes into play. And so we like them more, and employers are finding them to be actually a really nice source of talent. Which is great because you also have to kind of acknowledge the things that aren't as tangible, the mentorship older workers provide when they give you advice and how to, gosh, you've given me advice, Vlad, plenty of times, um, but there, there are so many um, benefits from different generations working together. Have you seen a shift, though, in the number of age discrimination cases we're seeing? Is that easing? So that's dropped dramatically over wow. the last decade, some 40%. And some of that is because we worked at it, right? We, as employers, were very intentional about encouraging hiring managers in particular not to use their, allow their own biases uh, to come into play when not hiring or creating opportunities for older workers. So that was intentional. The enforcement done by the EEOC and other agencies was critical. But again, I think what really is coming to play is that as a result, there are fewer cases of discrimination because we need those people in the workplace. And so we're far more willing to hire them and promote them, which is a really important trend as well. It's not just bringing people into the door. We're seeing what's being described as encore careers. You just described that, Vlad, right? Yeah. That people coming back in their 60s and expecting to work another 15 years, even at 60 years old. You know, it's funny, uh, Johnny and Errol, um, you, you get junk mail sometimes, and it's usually for, you know, New York City, a lot of people like myself are renters, you get junk mail from the previous tenant. So I was going through my mail, and I'm like, oh, I got some junk mail from AARP, let me, ch and I'm like, <laughs> no, oh, heck no, <laughs> like, this is not mine, I am not ready for this, I just to toss it. <laughs> uh, Johnny Taylor, always great to talk to you, man, thank you. Thanks, Johnny, come back anytime. Great to see you.